guys, right? Yeah. And that's why they picked him up last year, too, for the playoff run, too. So, yeah. You yeah. must be a big leader for you guys, eh? Yeah, he's a really good guy. Um, <clears throat> very vocal in the room and just all-around good leader. Yeah. Who... Who was the funniest guy in the room? Funniest guy on our team? I want to say Sam Bonus. He's a pretty funny guy. We could tell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He said he was going to leave me alone and then didn't. <laughs> so, so like, uh, throughout yeah. Throughout the season, are you guys, do you guys just have one, one like, roommate for the entire season? Or do you guys, like, choose... No, we switch. We switch every road trip. So my first road trip, we went to Cape Breton. We stayed over the night before. I was with Flanagan. And then second, we went to our last Quebec sw- swing. So like Shakutamine, um, Bay Coma and Ramuski. I was with Anton Topolinski. And then now I'm with Sam. So kind of, you know. Um, what would I like a... Uh say basically like uh when you guys are home like uh what would a typical like day be like for you like what time you guys head to the rink go to school all that yeah um typical typical day is we get to the rink around nine and practice for 10 we usually have video at five um after that it's usually depends if we got a busy day or not but or like week sorry it's a 10 o'clock practice either to like 10 45 or 11 30 and then after that um cool down all the get like all the younger guys got high school and then older guys got university and then uh, that's pretty much the day after four o'clock all the boys home. yeah so what is a what is a Usual, like you guys, you you guys practice every day, or do you guys have an off day? Uh, we have one off day a week. Yeah. So, what does a typical off day look look like for you? Off day is usually just kind of chill and recover. Um, I'll usually wake up around, I want to say ten to eleven, get some breakfast, um, get some hydrate, and then maybe stretch out a little bit, and then kind of do some homework, play some video games. What's what's the go-to video game? Right now, it's Modern Warfare 2, or, like, just play play some Fortnite with the boys. Who's the best Fortnite player? And who's the worst? Me. Me, Not even close. Who's the worst one? Fortnite player. Worst Fortnite player I've ever played with in my life. Jonah Jelly. Oh, (laughs) a little (laughs) shot at him. Too bad. There you go, Jonah. He's not a big builder. (laughs) What's your uh, what's your go to gun on NW two? Right now, I'm trying to level up my M4. Just just got Same. the got the game, so heard it's a pretty dominant gun. So obviously, want to get that upgraded. Right. Mm-hmm. This is not, so, this uh, is more, this yeah. is another another shot. One of the boys who has the worst tape job on the team. Oh, like uh, is there anyone that just like speeds by or just has a really bad tape job? Yeah, I want to say Rain has the worst tape job. He just came over from Ontario. Another Ontario boy. Um, Rain Nadeau, worst tape job I've seen in my life, probably. What does he do? He's just got, he starts from his heel and just goes no toe. Just looks super dust. Oh, <laughs> dusty. Yeah. What do you do? You got to have, you got to have, you got you to have style in the queue. I, I switched it up. I was, um. I used to do a white sock at the start of the season and then switch it to a um, toe to heel, just black tape, all black. Yeah. Toe to heel. Something it's similar. Yeah. Toe to heel boys. That's what I do too. Yeah. So what would, uh, what would tomorrow look like for you guys? Like, would you do online school throughout the day or like, yeah, how would that work? Don't really want to, but I will. Um, uh, yeah. We got, I think, 9.30 breakfast, and then we walk to the rink right after. It's, it's walking distance, so walk to the rink. We got morning skate. Then we'll have um, time to come home. Maybe have, like, a little nap, 
then we got lunch, and then we got our pregame meal, and then we head to the rink for around five, and then seven o'clock puck drop. Oh, yeah. What is a what's a pregame meal for you on the road? Is it still pasta? Pregame meal it usually sw- like our coaches usually order it, so I don't really get a choice, but it's usually a pasta or like a chicken or something like that. Yeah. Jim's coming in clutch for the boys. For sure. Keep the boys, keep the boys full. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely looking back at last year, he definitely came from shape. Yep. During like on on ice warm ups, so like what do you like to do? Any like stick handling like rituals or anything like that? Um, at the start, me and Squires, we always pass the puck to each other and then kind of just go our separate ways and I do some stick handling some stretching on my own after after the end of warm up and yeah kind of get some some shots coming down the wall um kind of in game stuff that I'm I know it's going to happen in the game yeah who are who are you are you, are you uh who's the closest you're with on the team <laughs> uh, I want to say like all the younger guys so um, Flanagan, Kiersey, Allen, Bonus, Todd, Jelly, all the all the younger guys, more likely, and then obviously Kieran because he drives me everywhere, so we're pretty close. But yeah, definitely more of the younger guys than the older guys. Do you guys have a spot to go at lunch when it comes to school? Yeah, so every pretty much every day before school, boys will head up Taco Boys. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, that's the spot to be. Exactly. Oh, that's valid. Also, I'm gonna be sad when I go back, but it's pretty good. How how's Kieran like driving? Is he a good driver? He's a good driver. He drives stick. Never really drove with someone who drives stick, but it's it's cool. It kind of taught me taught me how to drive it. So it's definitely different. There you go. Straight out Kieran for teaching Luke's how to drive stick. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Who has the best on ice and off ice style, and who has the worst on ice and off ice style? Off ice squires. Um, on ice. I don't even know. I don't really pay attention to that stuff, but. Um, definitely for off ice squires, dresses like he's from the country. He's not really country, but um, on ice, if I had to pick someone, maybe like maybe like a defenseman, one of the defensemen for sure. Marcus does that. Uh, I think it, it looks like he does a Panarin. I can't really tell though. Yeah, he does. Does the, the little strip under? Yeah. The little bun end. Oh, he uses the butt ends. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little shout out there. Shout out butt ends. <laughs> yep. Shout out Rick. I know some some of the boys tried it a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I I didn't try it, but a couple other boys said they liked it. And then there was the like the new grip that he put, you put on your blade. Oh, the pimple. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know how the boys like that one, but they said they like the, the knob, so maybe I'll try it in the future. For your knob, do you go thick or thin? Like, what do you do I, for your knob? I go thicker knob, and then I tape, like, down to the end of the CCM on the on the stick. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's pretty, yeah. pretty far down. I like tape them on my... Uh, the end of my stick. You put a little bit of grip tape on there. Yeah, I sw- switched from just normal white tape to grip tape a couple couple weeks ago, and it's been working. So, like, stick with it. Yep. Obviously, I'd say two of the standout rookies this year on the Islanders are probably you and Alexis Michaud. Um, what's it like just playing with him? Like, obviously, he's a great goal scorer, but yeah, he's obviously exceptional goal scoring ability, and he's a good guy. And um, it's gonna be 
it's going to be good seeing him develop in the next couple of years. Obviously, already pretty good. He can score. And um, it's going to be good to see him develop, especially for next year for his draft year. Excited for him. Yeah. For you, for like the future, are you at all thinking of any camps at the end of the year or just kind of taking it easy? Uh, it's pretty early right now. Obviously, exactly. Yeah. I'd like to get drafted and attend a couple camps, but um, if if that doesn't end up working out, I'll keep working hard and in the future, hopefully, get my chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm dead out. On the, yeah, me too, man. I've been out since probably eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that we were just rolling. I, I'm true on that too. I'm in there. You you could you could tell in some of the podcasts when we're like we don't know what to do. We just go with it. Mhm. Episode two, shout out episode two, Colby Huggin. We were like ten second blanks. Didn't know what to say. Oh yeah. Talk. This is actually our first episode since June, too. We just had trouble getting people on all summer long. Like, probably a total of 10 guys. We just... Off yeah, it was, on, hor- it was on, horrendous. You know? Yeah. But people are busy. Like, they're home and all that. So, like, they don't have the time for it. They just want to focus on being with the family and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh. I'm yeah. Just, I don't know what to do. I yeah, exactly. Do. Speaking of that, yeah. Anything else you got, Lucas, or? No. Unless. All right. I'm good. Yeah. Want to close well, it out, Matthew? 27. So that, that's two part here. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Thanks, Lucas, for coming on the podcast. Um, appreciate coming on, talking about about you and uh, some of the boys, chirping some of the boys there. But uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in to episode number 10 of the Talk Puck Podcast. And uh, tune in next time. Thanks, boys. Appreciate it. Yep, anytime. So often, the only thing they offer demons is awakening a coffin. From that wide support, down the